Hi and welcome back to my series of how to do things with Moodle. Uh, today we're going to look at how to customize a certificate. I'm coming over to a simple Moodle course I've, that I've called Quiz Demo Course and uh, within the quizzes uh, section I've got uh, a Moodle knowledge quiz and a Moodle assignment. Uh, but it's the Moodle knowledge quiz I want to create a certificate for. Underneath I've got certification topic area and a uh, claim your Moodle knowledge certificate. So I'm going to uh, click on there and come to the settings first uh, because what I want to do is restrict the access. So the students who passed the quiz uh, will be able to see the certificate. So I'm going to add a restriction, come up to activity settings and I want the students, student must match the following. Moodle quiz must be marked uh, complete with a pass grade, so that's good. And I'm going to hide it from students who haven't uh, completed the quiz with a pass grade. So I'm going to come down, save and return. I'm coming back into the certificate. I'm going to edit the certificate. Uh, and here uh, I've given it a name already, uh, Claim Your Moodle Knowledge Certificate. And uh, we must give the certificate a width and a height. Uh, and these widths and heights, you can see if you click on the little uh, question mark icon, it shows you that uh, uh, it's A4 a size. Uh, in this case, it's in portrait. Uh, what I have done is created a, uh, a demo certificate. So I'm going to add that as a background image. So add the element. I'm dragging and dropping for my desktop demo certificate. I'm going to save changes. Of course, what we would need is other information on the certificate. So let's have a look at the certificate that I've uh, created. Uh, here's a sort of template uh, for the certificate. So certification of completion. So the student's name will go below that heading successfully completed the whatever course or indeed activity uh, and then the date underneath there. So that's the certificate that I'm playing with. So let's see how we can add the information. So of course go to the uh, selector. I would want the student's name. I'm going to add the element and I don't want Times New Roman because that would look uh, quite old fashioned. So I'm coming to Helvetica. Uh, which is quite a neat um, uh, font. I'm going to give it a font size. Let's go quite large, let's say 30. We can change this as required afterwards. And I don't want all the zeros, which is black. I prefer a dark gray, so I, the six threes will do. Um, and scroll down. I don't know the positioning yet, but we can sort that out in a moment. And the alignment I would like centered and save changes. Uh, so what else would we need? Uh, we needed the date. So uh, apply the date and add the element. And let's go Helvetica again. And I think it was 30 that we chose for the font size. And again, uh, I'm going to change black to a, a dark gray by adding uh, all the threes and I want it centered and save changes and the other thing we needed was uh, not I don't want the course name you can choose the course name uh, from the selector there it is but what I want to do is just add, uh, add text because I'm going to name this Moodle knowledge And choose Helvetica, font size 30. Wouldn't it be good if it remembered what you typed in previously, but it doesn't. There we go. Let's choose that dark gray. Come down to the bottom, choose centered, and then save changes. OK, so uh, we've got all that in information. And there's a link right below called Reposition Element. So I'm going to click there, and we can see that all this text is uh, is all over the place now. So 
there's the date that's going to go below uh, student's name so let's try to guess guess this because this isn't it's not showing up the uh, the image which is really quite annoying uh, so I'm going to save and close so with that image not showing in the uh, in the preview I must have uh, not done something in the background image setting so I'm going to click on this cog icon and here I previously had no image and what you need to do is uh, select course image and uh, make sure it's the file that you uploaded there we go and I'm going to save changes I'm going to come into that preview again and here we go we've got got the image uh, showing but I think what I need to do is just make those fonts a little bit bigger uh, so it'll be good so let's go back so the student name let's go uh, instead of 30 let's go 50 and save changes let's have a look at that um, preview that's better but I need to shift it up a bit uh, so there we go so let's reposition the elements here's the link and shift the name up a bit so it's halfway up I think that Moodle knowledge could be uh, could be a bit bigger as well uh, so let's go back and do the text size 50 and scroll down and hit save and let's preview preview the changes that looks nice that looks nice good and uh, that's that's us sorted so that is how to customize your certificate. Let's uh, have, have a look what it looks like. Click there. Edit. Oops, not edit. Oh, I suppose so we'll edit and then preview changes again. And the name has come down, which is. Uh, bit crazy so let's reposition the elements once more and just shift that up so, ah, save and close that's what I didn't do let's preview much better and there we go there's your custom certificate that the students will gain access to once they've passed the Moodle knowledge quiz Thanks for listening and uh, I hope to catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.